I think we have to make a distinction between those patients who are functionally operable and those who are functionally inoperable. So it is clear that nowadays for functionally inoperable patients who cannot tolerate a lobectomy or even a subloba resection, the first choice is stereotactic radiotherapy for smaller lesions. However, having uh, said that, for operable lesions, I think the first choice, uh, I'm a surgeon, but still remains surgery. And the advantage is that we can provide histology of the lesions. Uh, quite a lot of lesions, approximately 30% we operate on, have no definite histology at that time. So we can send the lesion for frozen section and determine its precise histology. So that's an advantage of surgery. Moreover, we can do precise nodal staging, so looking at the lymph nodes, because we know that clinical staging, even when you apply PET-CT scan in every patient, is not always reliable. And there's a discrepancy between clinical and pathological staging. So as surgeons, we provide a very accurate uh, nodal staging. Moreover, some patients with positive lymph nodes uh, will need adjuvant therapy. Be it now chemotherapy, radiotherapy, immunotherapy, or a combination of both. And those patients you will not select when you only give radiotherapy. We also now have uh, two large randomized trials, a Japanese one and a US one, looking at lesions until two centimeters, so invasive cancers. And both show that subloba resection in the Japanese trial only segmentectomy, so anatomical segmentectomy was allowed. In the American trial, it was subloba resection consisting of what is called wide wedge excision, so removal of the lesion with mite margins, or segmentectomy. And both trials showed that subloba resection is at least equal to lobectomy for those patients. So that's another advantage of surgery. Uh, until two years ago, everybody said you need to do lobectomy even for small lesions. Now we know with randomized evidence that also smaller lesions can be treated by uh, subloba resections.